Hello, it's Elaine Pigtails and Calyx, and this is a video all about shoes. Everything you wanted to know about shoes, but we're afraid to ask. A little even, some of you have asked, I'm telling you anyway. Okay, here's the deal with shoes. Shoes, the bottom line is you need to keep them together, and you need to keep the tag with them. That's the bottom line, okay? So that's what, when you're doing shoes, those are the things you should be thinking about. When people bring shoes in, um, sometimes they bring them in bags, which is, you know, you're thinking they're going to stay together, which is good. However, parents want their kids to try them on. They want to look at them. They want to touch them. And you can't do that in bags. Well, you can. They can open the bags and take the shoes out and try them on, but chances are the shoes are not going to get back in the bags and the tags will not stay with them. So we'll wind up with all of these loose shoes and tags and you won't get credit for it. So here's what I think works and here has what worked for us, okay? So I've got a pair of shoes here. My well, first thing is they're separated, so I need to put them together. You can, A, use this handy little stuff we talked about earlier. Just weave it through the two shoes. Um, it's amazing you can find stuff on your shoes. I promise you can. And you can just tie a knot, and you can keep the shoes together that way. And then you've got your card stock, let's say it together, card stock tags. And then you've used your hole punch and you punched a hole in it and you just weave it through that as well. There you go. And you tie it on there tight. So you've got the shoes. They can still try them on. They can still sh see them, but they are together and you've got your tag there and you're good to go. Okay. Another thing you can use besides this stuff are zip ties. I've said before I love them and I do. Sometimes you can find cool little areas like these sneakers on the back. I've got these little bitty things on the back. You can weave them in there. I can weave them through the laces. I can put them anywhere. You could put your tag with the hole in them right through here. Take your zip tie and tighten it up. These are pretty long, so you could cut it there too so it doesn't quite look so bad and look like it would poke somebody in the eye. But you've got your shoes. They are gonna to stay together. Zip ties are rocking awesome. They are not gonna rip them apart from anybody. And you've got them together that way. If you did that, you know, you would have your tag here or you could pick your tag through those as well. Okay, flip flops in the summertime. Oh my goodness, we live in them. I bet your kids do too. We are particular about our shoes because we have so many and we have put a limit now of 10 shoes per consigner, okay? Because we want the best of your best shoes. So flip flops that you come in, um, you can buy flip flops for 50 cents or a dollar some places. So please do not bring just plain old flip flops because you can buy them so inexpensive on your own. But please bring your nicer flip flops um, to the sale. So just like with our other ones, you could I could take a zip tie through here or through here or my ribbon and weave it through. But you do the same thing to keep your, your um, sandals together or your flip flops, whatever they are. Sneakers, holy cow, tons of those. We sell uh, great. You can just take the laces, and I know it looks simple, but you can just tie a knot in those. That way they stay together. Kids, chances are, are not gonna take them apart, but you know that they're gonna stay together. Side note, I bought these at the last sale for me. I love these shoes. Thank you to the shopper who brought these because I love them. Um, so um, um, do that, and then you can take your, your tag for something like this. I've got my tag, I've got my hole punch through it, and you can probably even just go to the back here. This part is kind of material-like. You can just put it through and you know your tag is going to stay on those shoes just like that. Now, I do have all girl shoes. I'm sorry next time I am going to get more boy stuff for these videos, but this is what's in my home. Um, so they, these work for big kid shoes. I don't have any little kid shoes, but those are actually a lot even easier because there are little spots that you can just find to put them together. If you can't find anything, you can put a safety pin on this part and a safety pin on this part and put a ribbon through those or a zip tie through those. But if you cannot figure it out and you're losing sleep about it, please just bring them with you to drop off. And we have all the materials there and we can totally put them together for you there also so that you'll know how to do it for the next sale. Okay, so all you need to know about shoes. Don't you feel lucky you know it all now? Thank you very much.